Well, hey, everyone. How's it going? Uh, it's still Wednesday. It's around 4.30. Well, I finished all the tackle boxes. Uh, they went from tackle boxes to tackle box, including the work box. So everything fit in this new box. So look at that. <laughs> Flat box, another flat box, smaller one that used to be all for my thin fins. It was a thing Norm and I used to collect. And then all this. Uh, so the only thing left now is, uh, so let me put my coffee down. Um, is, and I'm not a bass fisherman. I mean, I, uh, I detest bass. Anyways, um, I do have like a little bass thing, you know, with the, you know these deals and I've caught bass on them and stuff but you can see they don't get beat up that, that's been I have, I've had this probably over 10 years so I don't use them that often so like when my friend Phil was around in Newfoundlander he preferred bass because that's all they all, all they have over there is trout so when he came here it's like oh bass anyways I think you people have heard my opinion on bass so anyways there's a whole bunch of extra reels um, I don't know if this is a bad habit I picked up from Norm, but I carry this bag of used reels around. <laughs> they all work. So, but anyway, check this out. I got everything into the, the work top is all the work stuff. So all the line, Dipsy Divers, which I never use because I use lead core or, uh, or a D downrigger, but you never know. So uh, emergency fire starters, you know, all kinds of little extra things. Norm was always throwing stuff in for the motor and things. So, but yeah, that's, uh, so the whole work thing is full. My uh, voting license is in there. So anyway, so that's full. And then uh, it came out pretty good. Uh, I mean, I got lots of extra room. Um, well, not in this one, but, you know, uh, I mean, it's so much more organized all in one place. Like, this is so nice, to be honest with you. You know, there's all my thin pins. Um, spoons, you know. I'm definitely needing uh, some more little Cleos. I don't have a... And they're all... What I do have is in bad shape, so... Um, is there a whole lot of room to put much more? No, that's the only downside. Um, this is my bass. I'm actually going to be carrying my bass lures, like my frogs and all this other stuff, in the same box. I can't believe it. And then I got my MEPS uh, spinners. There's another issue. Boy, are they getting long in two. So I've got a bunch of replacing to do before I actually worry about room, you know, to put more in. Um, I know what I will do, though is uh, I will buy the exact same one so they match, you know, and then it'll be just the same thing. Um, I don't know if I'll get back into the, the lure buying thing, but I have a feeling I will, you know, <laughs> especially now that they're so easy to buy online <clears throat> and you can get lures online that you can't normally get here, you know, Canadian Tire or whatever, or I don't want to drive all the way into, what is it, Cabalas and Canada, uh, you know, that's not my thing, so, um, but that gives a, a, a bigger selection, I expect, so, anyway, making a coffee, I'm still editing while I did that, so the, that's all done, that stuff, the, um, the, uh, the tackle stuff, the next thing I got to do now is uh, the fishing rods. So they have to be restrung. Uh, the new one, the new one's got to be completely strung. I think I'll do this one first, but it needs the backing line on it and then the lead core and that, no, wait a minute. This isn't going to be the lead core rod. This is going to be just a regular 20 pound test rod. So anyway, so I still need the backing and then, uh, you know, mono backing and then the braid and then uh, flor floral uh, leader. I use floral leaders. So, and then old trusty reliable. That's this one here. Uh, 
it this one? Yeah. Hold on here. Nope. I mixed up now, which is... Oh, my propane. I don't even know why I bothered to bring it. I, I'm not using a 20-pound tank. I haven't painted the floor yet. That's another job I got to get to. Um, it's not supposed to rain yet until Friday, so I've got time. Oh, wait a minute. I don't, actually. Well, if I don't paint it tomorrow. <laughs> Could be a few days before I can paint it again. Oh, boy. Hang on a minute here. Everything's tied together. It's, is it all? This is why I can't wait to get uh, uh, Jeff to make the boxes because I'm going to have rod storage and I'm going to make sure that they got all the little things to hold it properly. Okay. So, I got going on here. Okay. so this is my casting rod. Ugly stick. I got to I got to put on uh, my braid on this one here. Don't think I'll be using the casting rod uh, this trip, but you never know. We'll see. I know there's some little lakes that I, I went and poked, did some poking around just to see what was going on in the world around these parts for, you know, for, uh, well, not pike, but walleye for sure. And not bass for sure. What have I got going on here? all twisted here. Is that it? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, so you need to get away from here so I can separate these. There we go. Jammed on there. Okay, so there's my lead core rod, my big, big, heavy, old, ugly stick. She's big and heavy and strong, so... That's why she's good for lead core. I use 18 pound test on my lead core. And actually it's loaded right now, but I'm going to take the old stuff off. Um, you know, it's been sitting there a couple years. I haven't used it. So better, better just to change it. The reel is still in good shape. Pen 309s, eh? Or no, that's a pen 209 actually. Where's my, oh, this is the pen 309 here. Oh, I got everything. Oh, wait a minute. I lost a piece to this. There's a screw that's supposed to be on there. That's not good. Ah, well, you know what? Okay, so I'm all mixed up here. I got my thing. Uh, this is my new rod. I was going to rig up with a smaller reel. That's what it was. Casting. So... So my little miniature one, my super light has disappeared. I don't know where it is. I had a one. I don't know what happened to it. So anyway, this was, okay, so I know what this was. This was the other end of my rhino rod, I think. Or no, 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 it's the other end for this one. So I have the pen. 209 that's rigged uh, hang on a minute that's rigged with some old uh, braid on it but there's a problem because the screw or the nut that's supposed to be in here the, the adjusting nut has uh, am sprayed it looks like that one so I don't know what's happened uh, it might have come off in here I'll have to have a look around but it's not a good thing. Now I might have a spare one at home, but I just happened to be in the right place for to get a part like that. And it's called he's called Fletcher's and he's up in Hepworth. And it just so happens I can pass through there going to to get my um, my uh, handlebars for the uh, for the uh, for the bike when I go to Owen Sound. So I'll pass in there. And see if he's got a spare part for that. He very well may may very well have one. Yes, because he had all these used stuff. Norm, it was Norm's second heaven used. Oh my God, used fishing equipment. Him and old man Fletcher talked for like three and a half days when I was there. <laughs> we had to go there like every day. Norm was just like, oh my God, this is my emporium. 
I ended up buying a couple of things. I don't even know where they are now. But uh, yeah, so I guess, um, well, it's not like it's going to affect my fishing because I've got, that's going to be my new trolling rod for, uh, for, um, see, this is the one that I was using before too, eh? That was my walleye trolling rod with like with the uh, braid on it instead of the lead core. So, so that's actually good timing that I ended up buying that one. It was on sale. It was a good deal. But see, that's a pen 309, not a 209. Well, wait a minute. Which one is this? Is this this is a 309? Hang on a minute. I can't read it. No, that's a 209. Well, they're both 209s. Why do they look so much different? Hang on a minute. Pen 209. Uh, this is a Pen Pier 209 made in the USA. Those are the good ones from those days. You get the Chinese ones later, which I think this is this one. But this is a Pen... Just calls it a level wind. So it's not even the same name. But it's the same reel, essentially, eh? One's newer than the other. That's 209, and that's a 209. Yeah, I don't know. Well, this one has the counter, line counter on it. So it's, it is a different model than this one, even though they're both 209s. Anyway, you can see the piece that's missing. Now... Yeah, I'm re-rigging this one for lead core. The other new one is going to be. So this one doesn't even matter this trip because I'm using the new 309. I'll be putting, uh, you know, mono back and then braid. And that'll be my trolling rod. Uh, or sorry, that's my big trolling rod. Okay, that's where I'm getting all messed up here in my head. Okay, so I have my trolling rod, which is this one. That's going to be the 30 pound braid because it's the shorter stiffer rod than this one this is the lead core which is better for you know the longer rod is better for the uh, the lead core and I'm going to use that same reel so we're going to re-rig the lead core on this one that one is going to have 30 pounds so this one doesn't even matter this one is supposed to be my walleye uh, my trolling rod, you know, I'm doing walleye, I use uh, braid on this. But, like I said, I won't be probably walleye fishing, or I might be. If I do, well, I still have my regular cardinal. I can just troll with that. So, and then I have the new one over there, which is, I thought it was a lighter rod than this one. It's a graphite though, or some kind of name, but it's actually longer than the one that I'm using for casting. I'd probably be better to switch to this one. Oh, wait a minute, what's the action on these? Ugh. Memory, hang on a minute here. Oh, well. This one's more sensitive, so this one should have the smaller, the lighter setup. This one, the older one, and then the new one is not as sensitive, I guess. I don't know. Well, that one's stiffer. So, I'll see what reel I have to go on that one, as I have a whole bag of them, as previously mentioned. Anyway, that's the next work. I don't know what time it's getting to be. I haven't checked so okay so the rods we got that ready to go to start working on that and the Scotty downrigger is here ready to be mounted anytime uh, I've got my net take my boots out of there take the cord out of there because we may just get out. I got to check the wind tomorrow. I don't want to go out in the first run with any kind of chop. I want flat water just to be sure till I know uh, what I've got going on with the boat. So 
I don't want to be overconfident, but I'm confident it's going to be okay, but I don't want to be overconfident. Been there, done that, and look what happens. <laughs> you remember that? So, oh, it's 15 minutes. Okay, time to go. All right, folks, uh, I'll be back later. Uh, thanks for coming. So that's the uh, update on the fishing equipment, getting ready for George and Bay. Okay, be good to your fellow human. Please like, share, and subscribe. You want to help out the channel or me, uh, uh, support my stuff, hey, like I say, it's down in the description, paypal.com slash lad from the woods. Be good to your fellow human. Peace, long life, and live long and prosper. I'm going to go have my coffee and another one of those because I'm on vacation. Yeah. Hey, folks. Well, I uh, just thought I'd give another quick update. It's still Wednesday the 14th. Cooking uh, hamburger on the grill for the first time. So that's the first one I've cooked on here. Seems to be doing really, really well. I like it. And we got a fire going. So I'll be chowing down on that hamburger. I'm like looking at it going, I was going to make two. And then I looked at this thing and I'm like, Ugh, I forgot cheese. I can't believe it. Me of all people, Mr. Happy to have cheese. Anyways, um, so as you can see, I got the fire going and stuff. So just another relaxing evening. Got the, I'm all happy that I got the, uh, the tackle boxes done now. Started to empty the boat of the extraneous stuff that doesn't need to be in there. And uh, still editing. It's really quiet here tonight. More people have left, eh? So anyway. Today's Wednesday, so tomorrow it's bound to change because Thursday, except that, well, unless the weather has changed, uh, it's supposed to be raining, so that might cut big time into people showing up. Bummer. So, and it'd be a bummer because they'll have to sit in the tent or underneath this thing all day, so we'll see. I mean, it's saying rain, 80% chance, so it could be on and off, might miss us, who knows. Anyways, we'll just play it by ear. So that's about it. I just wanted to do a quick little update there. I'll tag it on to another video or whatever it is I'm doing. So this camera needs a charge now as well. So, okay, folks, I'll be back.